You know what? I got so many stories too, man. I, 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 I check this out. I got it because Eddie Van Halen just passed away. Rest in peace because he's, he's just a giant in this mm -hmm. business. And, uh, when I came out here in 77, I came out here to join a band called empire and it was with Mickey Jones, the bass player from angel. And I, I had grown up with the guys in on the East coast with angel, me and Frank Domino, the singer, we grew up in Boston together. We've known each other since we were very, very young. And so when, um, I was playing in roadmaster in, uh, in t that Todd Rodgren produced record, we were in Indianapolis. That's where I was living. Mickey Jones had just gotten released from Angel, and he called me up and said, do you want to come out here? And so I did immediately, because I knew this is where I had to end up. And so I left Roadmaster. They were really close. Angel and Van Halen were really close. Van Halen kind of looked up to Angel because Angel was signed to Casablanca, and Van Halen was still looking for a record deal. They were playing clubs. So Mickey was really close with Eddie Van Halen. And when I joined, when I came out here, it's the, it's the weirdest thing because all of these things flooded back to me when Eddie passed away. Eddie and me and Mickey Jones hung out a bunch of times. And Eddie actually came by my apartment with Mickey and Eddie was driving an old brown van that Van Halen used to haul their equipment around town in. And the three of us, the three of us went to, to Starwood. Check this out. It's the weirdest story. It, it, the three of us, me, Mickey Jones from Angel and Eddie Van Halen went to the Starwood. We smoked a bunch of dubs and had a bunch of drinks and we watched Quiet Riot with, with Randy Rhodes. Wow. And it was, can you imagine that? Yeah. Cause both of those guys went on to be legends. And I actually asked Eddie, I said, because I, I saw Randy just burning on stage. He was just off the charts. He was so good. And I asked Eddie, I said, what do you think of this guy? And he was like, oh, he's okay. You know, <laughs> it's just the weirdest story because then I got to see Eddie. He, he invited us to go see him play the first album over at the Whiskey, and it just blew the roof off. And he also invited me to go out to see Pasadena at Civic Auditorium. And that's one of their legendary shows before they released the album. So I really had this whole little thing going with Eddie before he became huge. And, you know, obviously the natural progression happens. He became so huge and I, I started doing my thing. So we didn't see each other a lot and we weren't like best friends. But when I first came out here, I, I went and saw Randy Rhodes with Eddie in here. <laughs> love it. I love it. That that has to be in, in, in a book, Steve. 